Hi, Herbert Lee here. Welcome to another series. This is the series, Do You Make These Mistakes Learning English? Watch the video till the very end. You're going to get some really valuable tips on how you can correct how you're learning English. How you learn English is very important. You may have been learning English for many, many years, but you haven't been doing it correctly, and that's slowing you down. So watch the entire video to get all the tips. Better still, watch the entire series of seven to get all the tips. And then, the most important part is apply what you learn. Learn and do. Don't just watch the videos and say, hey, that's a nice idea. I might want to try that. Don't try. Actually do it. Also, do me a favor. After you've tried the technique, after you've used these tips to actually improve how you learn English, leave your comments in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And if you really find these videos useful, click on the subscribe button to make sure you get all the updates. Warren Buffett's Secret Weapon Warren Buffett is one of the richest people on the planet. He is the chairman and chief executive of Berkshire Hathaway, a company he founded in 1965. Every year when he issues his company's annual letter, thousands of people download it and read every word, over and over. Over 40,000 people have flown to his hometown of Omaha every year in May to hear his company's annual report. People have paid, yes, they have paid as much as $3.4 million just to have lunch with him. And Warren, you're going to like this, does not use a computer, he doesn't use email, and he doesn't have a mobile phone. When he and fellow billionaire Bill Gates were both asked what the single most important thing for success in life was, they both gave the same one-word answer, focus. Warren Buffett is a native English speaker, but that's not why you should listen to him. You can learn a lot by listening and observing Warren Buffett. Warren is a voracious reader. In fact, he reads almost the entire day, six to eight hours a day of pure reading. Then, when you listen to Warren Buffett, you can see how well he uses words. When he speaks, you realize his vocabulary is outstanding, all from reading. Watch him make presentations, especially at his annual meeting. He's very clear, precise, and articulate. And he's very, very witty. And when he does his question and answer session, he really listens to the question and then answers the question directly. He never minces words or avoids the question. Warren Buffett is an unusual person. When he speaks, people listen. And when he listens, he gives the person his full attention. When he gives advice, everyone should pay attention and follow it. Above all, Warren Buffett is an effective communicator. Some English learners think they want to speak like an American, or like a native English speaker, or their favorite movie star. But I would suggest you try to become an effective communicator like Warren Buffett. And Warren Buffett can even tell you how he learned his communication skills. He took Dale Carnegie training. Here is a video clip from HBO of Warren explaining how it helped him. Somebody once said that the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they're too heavy to be broken. I had been terrified of public speaking. I couldn't do it, I'd throw up. And I knew if I didn't cure it then, I'd never cure it. And so I saw an ad in the paper for the Dale Carnegie course, which worked on developing your ability to speak in public. And I went down there. Be sincere. A good smile has the same effect as a puppy's tail. When a puppy wags. They made us do all these crazy things to get out of ourselves. And so we stood on tables and did all kinds of things. <laughs> If 
I hadn't have done that, my whole life would have been different. So in my office, you will not see the degree I got from the University of Nebraska. You'll not see the master's degree I got from Columbia University, but you'll see the little award certificate I got from the Dale Carnegie course. So welcome back. So what is Dale Carnegie training all about? Dale Carnegie training has existed for a long time. Warren Buffett took his training in the 1950s and Dale Carnegie training is still with us today. I'm not here to tell you to take Dale Carnegie training, but I want to share with you what you can learn at Dale Carnegie training. Myself, I never took Dale Carnegie training, but I did read his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People during my high school years, and it had a huge impact on my life. Here is what Dale Carnegie training teaches you. Be genuinely interested in other people. Don't criticize, condemn, or complain about other people. Encourage others to talk about themselves. If you make a mistake, acknowledge it quickly. Before criticizing someone else, talk about your own mistakes first. Praise all improvements, no matter how slight. If you want to change others, start with yourself first. To feel important is one of the strongest human desires. Always make others feel important and never undermine anyone's sense of importance. Remember people's names. A person's name is the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Express your ideas in a dramatic way. Use illustrations and showmanship to get your ideas across. If you watch videos with Warren Buffett, you can see clearly he uses all these ideas all the time. Here are the six rules that Dale Carnegie teaches to become an effective communicator. The first rule is become genuinely interested in other people. And you don't do that if you just want to learn to speak better. The second rule is to make a good first impression by smiling. A third rule is to remember the person's name. So use it often in the conversation. The fourth rule is to be a good listener and encourage others to talk about themselves. It's especially flattering to pay attention to the person who is speaking to you rather than to look around to see who else might be around. The fifth rule is to talk in a way that interests others. Learn what they care about and talk about. The sixth and final rule says to find a sincere way to make others feel important. These are things you have probably never thought about or even learned, yet they're fundamental if you want to become a great communicator like Warren Buffett. Don't be satisfied to be a great English speaker. Become a better and more effective communicator should be your goal. Dale Carnegie training requires a financial investment and a commitment in time. If you can afford it, it has great value. Just ask Warren Buffett. The other option to get self-confidence in public speaking is Toastmasters. I've been a member since 1980. I joined a club when I lived in Canada. I also helped start Toastmasters here in Macau. Go to the Toastmasters website and see if there's a club near you, and then go visit the club. And you can go as a guest up to three times. Remember, 
all members start at the same place you are now, without any confidence and very hesitant to speak out. You will see members who even after a few months as a member speak very naturally and native-like, but they all started as a guest. My lesson today is don't settle with a vague small goal of I want to speak better English. Master effective communication skills and you can become a great communicator in any language.